What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P. Today we're gonna to be doing a first look in an unboxing of the brand new Razer Hyper Flux with the Mamba wireless mouse and the Firefly mouse pad. And this is pretty much their solution to something like the newer uh, Corsair Dark Core and the MM1000 mouse pad as well as Logitech's uh, Power Play bundle. So just for this one, you know, showing you guys what's inside the box with this first look. And don't worry, I'm also gonna be doing a full out review of the Hyperflux, but with a giant comparison video. So let's just see what's inside. All right, we haven't done a good old unboxing in a long time, but I figured there was a lot of hype surrounding this, especially after we saw it at uh, CES. So had to get it in house. And just do a quick little unboxing for you guys. Bam, liking that, got the Hyperflux. All nice and glossy. You know, Razer's always pretty top of the line when it comes to their product packaging. And right here on the front, we have the Hyperflux Mamba itself. And the sides, you know, definitely similar to the Mamba, but the big thing here, and which is one of the big selling points about the Hyperflux, is the weight. Since there is no actual battery inside, this thing is much, much lighter than your traditional mouse, or even just your standard wireless mouse, um, you know, competing on the market right now. So definitely lighter overall. That's the first thing I noticed. Awesome, let's see what else we got. Got a little, uh, of course, your standard literature. Pretty much like your, you know, product info guide, some specs. I see some info about the uh, the Fireflies, uh, like RGB capabilities. Of course, you got your nice Razer sticker as well. Uh, this is going to be the USB to probably plug in the Firefly uh, Hyperflux mouse pad. Ooh, okay, okay. Let's put this off here. Take this uh, protective rubber off. Wow, so this this is honestly very, very similar um, all across the board to the Firefly mouse pad already. All right, and uh, yes, obviously, remove this film before your first use. So this is the Firefly itself. And what's really great is here, you're still gonna have the choice between the uh, nice cloth, a uh, soft mouse pad texture that I know I'm definitely used to. You can also flip it around and have that uh, kind of like plastic glide hard texture that you're starting to see more in the market now, but I'm definitely more of a fan of the cloth, more traditional, you know, that's, that's what I'm used to uh, when it comes to gaming. Let me just pull this down and bam, there's your thumbnail for you. But just, you know, first impressions for this right away is it did a good job on keeping the thickness down. It does feel and look very, very similar to the Firefly out there already. So it's not bulky. It's not, you know, significantly thicker than what you'd probably expect for having the Hyperflux technology built in here. But let's plug this in, get the, the lights booted up and see how this automatically connects and pairs and just see if there's any issues or, you know, what happens. Let's just try it out. All right, so I literally just plugged it in, and as you can see, um, we have the green LED light here, which is letting us know that there's power being transmitted. We're booted up, and you can see the light here corresponding with that on the back side of the mouse. The Razer logo lit up, the scrolling wheels lit up. We have a little light here on the side, and just like that. So I took it off. I'm gonna do a quick little demo for you guys. The second you put it on, the Hyperflux technology inside is already charging and transmitting the power to this. But if I take it off, boom, there is no light, there is no power. It's because since there is no dedicated battery in this, there's no way for this to really hold a charge. So it's not really gonna die on you if you're not using it. Only time you're gonna be you know, using this mouse is gonna be most likely on this mouse pad. So it's always just gonna have this charge going. Uh, let's just kill the lights and we'll, we'll take a look at the quick uh, you know, chroma lighting. But uh, that was you know, simple, <laughs> good, good stuff. Okay, so just a note real quick, this does just work out of the box without having um, you know, Synapse downloaded. You don't need it to be used with this, but if you want to you know, customize your DPI and change up those chroma effects, that's what Synapse is gonna enable you to do. 
and it pretty much recognizes it like your standard Firefly mouse pad. I've said it before, but this is essentially the same thing. You have the same little light bar on the side, the strip is exactly the same, the same lighting effects. It's just now it works wirelessly in tandem while charging your, your Mamba Hyperflux mouse. This is really, really cool. And I did mention it before, but I'm just way more um, used to it. I'm more of a fan of the cloth mouse pad texture here. And now the uh, the Firefly is sold with both the hard texture and the cloth texture. It's nicely included. This little reversible side, so you can use both if you want. All right, so this is awesome. So like I said, just a quick little first look at unboxing for you guys at this brand new Razer Hyperflux. Um, yes, I'm saving all my good B-roll and all the footage that like we usually show off on the channel for the dedicated review, as well as the head-to-head -head comparison, or I guess head-to-head-to-head -to -head -to -head comparison, for the Razer Hyperflux versus Corsair's Dark Core and MM1000 versus the Logitech uh, PowerPlay bundle. So make sure you are subscribed. You don't want to miss out on those videos. Just my first impression of this is, wow, it was very simple to use. It was plug and play and it was up and working immediately. I am really impressed with how lightweight this mouse is since there's no battery and the whole Hyperflux technology they have going on is really impressive. You still have all the RGB capabilities with the Firefly mouse pad and also the hard texture versus the cloth texture mouse pad surface because it's reversible. Really impressed, but like I said, I'll be having that dedicated review for you guys probably at the end of the week. By the time you see those videos, I'd have about a week to mess around with this, so make sure you subscribe for those. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to comment down below if you have any questions about the Hyperflux, you want me to answer in the review, as well as hit me up and follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm RandomFrankP. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.